This is Dr. Jazz Rowie, Chief of Sports Medicine at NYU Hospital for Joint Diseases, presenting our technique on lateral collateral ligament reconstruction using the docking technique. 48-year-old female complaining of left elbow pain after a fall three weeks ago presents with lateral picondyle pain and an elbow fusion, MRI demonstrating lateral elbow, uh, lateral and collateral ligament here with impaction fracture of the capitellum. MRI confirms the uh, capitella impaction fracture as well as the lateral ulnar collateral ligament tear. Incision based just anterior to the lateral picondyle was performed with the incision extending to the uh, lateral aspect of the ulna. Coker's interval was developed as is seen here and the fascia was split at this level. Dissection proximally up to the uh, lateral picondyle and dissection down to the supinator criste was performed on the ulna. Here we're at the level of the radial head, dissecting free the muscle and the fascia to expose the capsule. The capsule plays a critical role as we use this to imbricate it later on uh, as part of the reconstruction. The converging guide for drilling the tunnels on the uh, supinator criste, where the lateral ulnar collateral ligament inserts on the ulna is utilized. This allows 3.5 millimeter drill tunnels to be drilled into the ulna. We then further continue to dissect the, uh, uh, the muscle off the capsule. And here we see the radial head as we continue to expose both the annular ligament and the capsule at this level. Dissection proceeds in anteriorly. Free elevators used to further define this plane and self-retaining retractors are placed. The incision is carried proximally up to the level of the lateral picondyle and the capsules incised over the radial head extending proximally and distally. The joint is seen here. Stay sutures are then placed into the capsule and the dissection occurs is taken over the uh, radial neck. At this point the loose fragment that was seen on the MRI is, is visualized and removed. A suture shuttle is used through the drill tunnels on the ulna to pass the allograft gracilis tendon that was prepared on the back table, as seen here, size to pass through a 3.5 millimeter drill tunnel distally. The ends of the graft are trimmed to allow smooth passage through the tunnel. After this is complete, we then determine the isometric point on the lateral picondyle. And at this point, after this is determined, a 4.5 millimeter guide is used to drill the docking tunnel into the level of the lateral picondyle. The converging guide is utilized to drill two millimeter tunnels that will allow the docking technique to be completed. At this point, a shuttling wire is then passed to allow the grafts to be brought into the docked drill tunnel. As it can be seen here, the first set of passing sutures are placed. followed by the second set as is seen here. At this point, the capsule is then imbricated with number two fiber wire. This is done with the arm at 60 degrees of flexion with a valgus force and with the arm pronated to allow imbrication of the capsule at this level. After this is completed, the graft is one limb of the graft is then passed and docked into the tunnel. The other limb is shortened. And with the tunnel being dr drilled 15 millimeters, we're able to determine the appropriate level where the graft should be cut and where 15 millimeters of graft will be docked into the tunnel. 
Our attentions then turn towards placing a passing stitch in a Krakow type fashion using a fiber loop. After this is passed, the graft is then cut at the desired level. Again, we determine the appropriate tension and that we are correct in our length determination. At this point, as can be seen here, the graft limb is brought up into the tunnel and docked. And the arm is taken through a range of motion to ascertain appropriate tension on the graft, as well as determining isometry and determining whether there's excessive graft motion. The sutures are then tied with the arm at 60 degrees of flexion and a, um, with the arm pronated, as well as with a valgus force. And here is seen the final construct. The interval is closed with uh, O vicral. This is Coker's interval developed between the Ancaneus and the extensor caught by ulnaris. Thank you.